In today's video, we're going to be working on volume of a right circular cylinder. On the right hand side, you can see we have a formula volume equals pi r squared times your height. And again, in this example for pi, we're going to be using about 3.14. In example one, we have our radius to be 3 inches and we have our height to be 7 inches. Okay? You don't have to start off this way, but I started always by just putting the formula always. So that way I know what to put in. And then we just put in the, the numbers where they belong. So the vo volume equals pi r squared times height. And I'm just going to go ahead and input pi. And now what our radius is 3 squared and then times our height which is 7 then I'm gonna go ahead and start solving V equals pi r 3 square is gonna be 9 times 7 you can go ahead and skip all these steps I'm just putting step by step so you guys can know how to do it after you guys know how to do it you can skip right away to step 3 or 4 whatever is easier for you and we have V equals 9 times 7 would be 63 pi. Like I said before, some teachers are okay with you leaving your answer at 63 pi. But then I go ahead and solve and multiply 63 times pi. And we said that pi is about to be 3.14. So when I multiply 63 times 3.14, I have 197.14. 8 as an answer okay oh I forgot don't forget to go ahead and put your inches and this time we instead of being because we're looking for the volume is to the third power okay this is really important for you to know to the third power okay if you put it to the second power third power no power because in your test or your teacher might take points away if you don't put it the right way okay for number two do the same thing I go ahead and put volume equals pi r squared times my height go ahead and v equals pi what is my radius my radius here is seven so I'm gonna go ahead and put seven to the second power and what do I have as height is 13 multiply that by 13 once again, you don't have to go ahead and write the formula. We already have the formula there. I just write it for you guys step by step so you know how I'm getting where I'm going. Then after this, go ahead and solve pi times 7 to the 7 times 7 is going to be 49 times 13. Then I have V equals 13 times 49 is 637. Pi. Once again, you can go ahead and leave it as that, or if your teacher wants to solve it, we use it in this example as 3.14. So we go and multiply 637 times 3.14, and when we multiply that right there, we get 2000.2. Again, don't forget your inches centimeters or whatever it is to the third power example three and four in sample three we have six inches to be our radius and our height to be 11 inches in example four we have our radius to be nine inches and our height to be 12 inches go ahead and pause the video now try to see if you can solve this you have the formula here and you also have it on the right hand side and we already have on the right hand side what we're using as pi and then after that you solve it come back and try to see if you have the same answer as I did all we have to do now is plug in your numbers V equals pi what is your R our R is 6 square times our height which is 11 go V equals pi and 6 times 6 is going to be 36 times 11 then we go ahead and multiply 36 times 11 which have 396 
and again you can leave it as five depending on your teacher or your assignment then we go if you need to do one step further we go ahead and multiply 396 times 3.14 and our answer is going to be 1243.4 forget our inches cube okay and then for number four, we go ahead and do the same thing. We just plug in the numbers where they go. Radius is going to be 9 squared times our height. Our height is 12 inches. We're going to go ahead and multiply. V equals. And then 9 times 9 is going to be 81. Multiply by 12. And then we're going to go and multiply 81 times 12 and we'll multiply 81 times 12 we get 972 pi we might leave it as that but once again depending on your teacher when we go one step further if she wants you to solve it using 3.14 and when you multiply that we get 3052.1 inches Cube. It's really important for you to put inches cubed because if you have a test or your homework, they might try to trick you guys by putting this number, inches cubed, inches to the second power, inches to the fourth power. So it's really important for you to know that you put it to the cube, you put it to the third power, okay? Don't forget to share the video with any of your friends that need help with you. And once again, thanks again for watching the video.